for the jolly nice Graham and Paul. Hi, honey. How was work? I'm shattered. Me too. I've been flat out all day. And when did you actually get up? About half an hour ago, but since then it's just been work, work, work. <laughs> the Paul O'Grady <laughs> Show is sponsored by Schwartz. Tonight, Graham Norton, Linda Laplante, and homeless dogs. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Paul O'Grady. Hello, folks. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, don't tell her. Look at Olga, she's got a right gob on. To, uh, uh, look at her. <laughs> Do you know why she's got a gob on with me? Because I went to the Tata, the Tata, the Tata last night <laughs> to see Wicked, about the Wicked Witch of the West. I never thought I'd have sympathy for a girl with a green face and a pointed black hat, but I did. <laughs> and a mate of mine had a talk about gob on. Look, she won't even look at me. Olga. <laughs> Olga, I've got a cat under me coat. Olga, I've got sweeties. <laughs> she hates me. Olga, you're going in a home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suit yourself, Miss Olga. That's how you want to play it. I'm going to put my gloves on now, Olga. <laughs> Olga, look, we play Muffin the Mule. Are you ready? We want Muffin, Muffin the Mule. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about gob on. Never know nothing like it. I'm going to patch you, do, to cheer you up. <laughs> Dear Paul, is your desk really as dirty as it seems? Why does it look dirty? <laughs> I know it looks like an old coffin, but I don't know whether it looks dirty or not. <laughs> Please use these special gloves that I found to check for dirt and dust and then return them to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> From, I think it's Maria James. Let me see, Maria. Yeah, spotless. Look at that. Look at that, Olga. Look, look. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, can I go out one night a week? Can I have a social life? <laughs> Suit yourself. Olga, I've got a lovely picture here of a lady called Alice O'Donnell. She's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Paul, I know you get lots of emails asking for you to ask people to get well soon, but my wee granny is not well and bedbound. Oh, and one thing she makes sure she does every day is tune into your show. So it would really brighten up her day if you give her a mention and get a get well message to perk her up a bit. Her name is Alice O'Donnell from Kirk. In Tillock. Kirk in Tillock. That's a nice name, isn't it? And there she is. There's the lovely Alice in bed. Can you see her? There you go, Alice. Get well Aww. soon, love. Yes. Olga, say hello to Alice. <laughs> Dear Paul, I was at a disco in Soho last night and I saw someone that looked like you pole dancing. Oh, poor. <laughs> yeah. Was it you? You look like you'd had a few. Charlie in London. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> I went to the theatre and then straight home, didn't I, Olga? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't train her to do that, could you? Eh? <laughs> Dog with ump. Look at that. <laughs> I also like to say big happy birthday to Debbie Rudd, who's 58 today. There she goes. And what's this one? Dear Paul, could you please wish a very happy seventh birthday to Daniel O'Brien from his mum, mum, dad, younger brother Sean, and nanny Margaret. I should be on the wireless, mate, shouldn't I? Doing requests. So that, I don't know how old he is. How old is he? Are we seven? Happy seven. I can't even remember mine. I can't remember me 50th, let alone me seven. <laughs> Do you know, today I got this letter through the post. It said, huge headline Are you a pensioner? <laughs> don't mind that. And there was a drawing then of, a, of an old lady, but they'd drawn about no teeth and she was smiling. And they'd drawn lines on her lips to show she had no teeth. <laughs> and she had no great teaser on her head. And she was hanging on to this fella who looked like Homer Simpson's dad in The Simpsons. <laughs> and I thought, ow, 
cheeky is that? I mean, I, w I got booked on a Stargirl holiday once years ago in Tenerife by mistake. I was shocked. And I've worked places you wouldn't walk past, let me tell you, <laughs> when I saw what these twirlies were up to. <laughs> twirlies, you know what a twirly is, don't you? Yeah. In Liverpool, we know before you, if you have your bus pass, and if you get on too early on the bus with your bus pass, the driver goes, sorry, love, you're twirly. <laughs> twirly. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, today is National Poetry Day, Olga. Who, who, who? <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Come here. Oh, Olga, don't do this to me. And here to help me celebrate National Poetry Day are Damani and Brogan. Let's hear you. Come on. <laughs> nice to meet you. You OK? Nice to meet you. Now, I believe you've written a special poem. Yeah. yeah. And have you written this yourself? Yeah. You're very clever. Who's going first, then? Um, I will. Go on, then, Kit. I like you. Let's have a look at the air first. Turn around. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? How's that for a work of art? <laughs> Tell us where you had it done. I'm going to get mine done for next week. Oh, yes. Um, my cousin did it. Oh, get him in here. Get my head shaved. <laughs> I want a picture of Olga on the back. No, I don't want a picture of me on the back of my head. <laughs> Go on, then, Kedda. Go on, do your poem. Good lad. Happiness is the sight of a cute newborn baby. Happiness is the touch of... Golden rippling sand running through your fingertips. Happiness is the smell of a roasting hot Sunday dinner just waiting to be eaten. Happiness is the taste of a mouth-watering cho chocolate sundae. Happiness is the love of a caring, loving family. Happiness is my house that feels like the end of a rainbow. That's what happiness is. <laughs> wow. Well done, you. That's wicked, that. That's brilliant. So we've got the new poet laureate here. And Brogan, you've done a rap, haven't you? Yeah? yeah. Go on then. Poor Lay Grady. Um. Poor Lay Grady, maybe he's crazy. Even a little shady, and I know he's really lazy. <laughs> Buster O'Grady, I love that little baby. He drives the ladies bar me with his cute button nose and his striking dog pose. I'm glad Paul's show is back on air. I've really missed his chatter. It's always cool to see the show. As Paul, we've missed you so. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah, well done to the pair of you. Give him a big round of applause, come on. Congratulations, that's brilliant. Right, Dan. Go and see if you can get a few bob out of Bert. Get yourself a cup of tea and I'll see you later, yeah? Well see done. You. Thanks very much for that. Shady, and I'm accused of pole dancing. Mm. <laughs> Getting very worried. Olga, you're going to give me a look, are you? Olga. No, 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 I, hope so. I can't be able to talk to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Buster, 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 please come back. <laughs> oh, I've got two great guests for you tonight. I've got the one and only Mr. Graham Norton. <laughs> We have best-selling author, the one and only Miss Linda LaPlante. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Plus, we're giving away a brand new motor car. <laughs> and Tracy Chapel gets the full The Devil Wears Prada experience. And we're going to be trying to find some homes for some very needy homeless dogs. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Homeless. <laughs> Bit of string round your neck, tied to a lamppost. <laughs> yes, don't think I wouldn't either. Oh, no. Out in the cold, cold snow. It's competition time, and congratulations to yesterday's winner. Your name's on the screen right now. I hope you enjoy driving round in your new motor. So grab your pen and paper, because here's today's all-important prize question and the number to call and try and win this beautiful car. Thank you. Every day this week, we're